Hey everybody, it's the Adventure Squad, and today we're gonna dive into a good book. Are you ready? Let's take our first steps. Today we're going to explore why we should read and discuss stories. To help my family and yours with helpful tips and resources around the upstate, let's check in with Kidding Around Greenville. Bethany, what should we know? Hey everyone! You know the more we read with young children, the more prepared they become to enjoy reading and to do well in school. It's never too early to begin reading. Stories expose children to words and ideas that they would not otherwise experience. What they learn about people, places, and things can be important building blocks to later life success. For both parents and children, times together with books form fond and lasting memories. For your youngest children, make sure book time is part of your baby's daily routine. They won't understand for a while, but that's fine. What's important is that they hear your words, see the pictures, and start to develop positive feelings around books. Keep it simple if you can. Choose books that are sturdy, short, and have simple, colorful pictures. Snuggle up. Hold your child in your lap as you read so they can see the pictures and feel cozy. From up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we You don't need to read all the words on the page. Instead, describe what's happening in the pictures. Talk about the colors, shapes, and what the characters are doing. Meow. Fish. And for your children who are beyond 12 months, these tips will help their cognitive development before they enter school. Before you open the book, check out the cover, read the title, look at the picture. Ask your child what he or she thinks the book might be about. Read and discuss. Your toddler will learn most if you have discussions while you read. Respond to their comments and questions about the story. Ask them questions that get them thinking. And the police car is blue. And Judah, what color is this? Help them follow along. Point to the words in the pictures. This helps your toddler understand how reading works. For example, we read from left to right on the page. His teeth were three inches long. Use your best reader's voice. Try different voices or different characters and make it all fun. Don't be too serious. And you're not gonna believe it, but this Your guy toddler may wanna turn the page like before you've even finished it. The if they can't sit still for the whole book, that's okay. Here are some upstate resources to get your family the tools you need to be successful. For more info about what's going on in the upstate, follow along for this week's excitement at kiddingaroundgreenville.com. Where that God made you. Very good, everyone. The Palmetto Basics are five fun, simple, and powerful ways to help all of our children become the happiest and most successful they can be. We're here to provide ideas on how to incorporate the basics into your family life and spotlight local partners doing great work impacting early childhood. Visit palmettobasics.org for more info and to check out more resources.